Hey, what do you say today we make our own fire starters? Let's go. So winter, admittedly, is a little bit less active out there on the trail for most people, even me. So what I like to do during those times is get all my supplies ready for this upcoming, much busier summertime on the trail. And here's the stuff you need. Okay, so you don't need much for this. You need some cotton balls and you need some petroleum jelly, Vaseline. And you might want to have a plastic bags or something to put them in when you're done. It's pretty simple stuff, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the bag trick. Did you ever get out in the field and, and you just you just can't seem to open these stupid things? Well, here's what I do to make that a little bit easier. I will chop a little um, U-shape in here, like this. I don't know if you saw that. Um, what it does is makes a really simple way of opening this. So. You just slide your thumb here and bingo, you just open. There you go. There you go. And now the magical how-to. So open up your jar of Vaseline and you get, I don't know, maybe that much. You just rub it on both sides. This gets a little messy, but so cotton balls will flame up really easy with a spark, but they don't maintain uh, that that fire for very long. What happens is th when you put Vaseline on it, it uh, it soaks it up into the cotton ball, and it lasts a lot longer. Once it sparks, uh, this it, it's made out out of a petro petroleum product, right? So. Um, so it'll just sit there and burn for a lot longer than what a plain old cotton ball will. And that gives you time to get your kindling on and get your fire going and it just makes it last a little bit longer. So that's all you do. You just rub it in there. It gets a little messy uh, until it's saturated enough and, and you'll feel it, you know, a normal cotton ball and then one that's all soaked. You can really tell the difference here. And then you just put it in your bag. And you keep doing that. Yeah, a little bit more, maybe. And just keep doing that until you have enough. So what I did this morning is I made uh, a bunch of these. What I'll do typically in, in, in the winter like this is I'll make enough supply for really the rest of the year. You just mush it in there. Mush it, mush it, mush it. Press it in. Until it just saturates it. Wipe off your fingers because they get all slimy and yucky. So what I did today is I made, I put six of them in, 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 a, in a, one of these little bags. Because I don't like to make too much trash. So I made 18 of them. I'll probably make, uh, you know, maybe 24 of them. And that'll last me for at least half the year. So that's it. Very simple. And now a little something for those who are lint thrifty. Now, if you want to be extra thrifty, you can go get some lint from your dryer. Pull it apart a little bit, make it a little fluffy. And then do the same thing with that. Now, this is a little bit messier. If you have a lot of cotton clothes, this works pretty much the same as a cotton ball would. But if you have other types of materials that don't burn as, as well as cotton, then these things don't flame up as well as cotton does. They work okay. I mean, they're fine. Uh, but I prefer to use cotton. A little cleanup in the cotton aisle. Now, when you're done putting all of your cotton balls into these bags, the bag gets all yucky and sticky, and it makes it hard actually to open this up when it's all sticky like that. So what I like to do is just, uh, when you're all done, just wipe this off real good. Especially clean this little lid here where it seals. Because that's, you know, that's the part that's gonna be hard to open when it's all slimy like that. So just wipe it off good. And it ends up being, you know, just like new. 
seal it up, wipe it off one more time, and you're good to go. Now you have six fire starters ready to go. That takes a couple sparks and you make fire. Okay. All right, so I'm David on Earth, and I like hiking and backpacking and all things being outside and nature, not here. And if you like the same thing, go ahead and subscribe. But most of all, put your comments down below. What kind of fire starters do you make or do you like to use? All right, see you on the trail.